Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing issues that I've personally wrestled with with regard to the faith. This time, can anyone be popular in heaven? Let's start by looking at a few verses related to popularity. And they were scandalized in his regard. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. Matthew thirteen fifty seven. Obviously, Jesus didn't mean for this to be taken in regard to heaven, because more than anywhere else, heaven is his country and his own house. Yet he clearly has honor there, and so do the prophets. So Jesus, at least, is popular in heaven. But in a way, that's why this question is complex. Can other people in heaven be well-liked by their fellow man if Jesus is so much greater and so much more worthy of respect? It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master, and the servant as his lord. If they have called the good men of the house Beelzebub, how much more them of his household? Matthew ten twenty-five. While those who follow Jesus will face persecutions in this life, we can see here indications of the answer to the question, when this verse says the disciples will be as their master. First, the persecution is for this life only, as it says in, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you shall have distress, but have confidence. I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. However, remember the methods I mentioned a while back, the rules of thumb for understanding heaven. God is the true source of all goodness. Now, just as we can honor the saints and the angels without dishonoring God, so we can recognize and appreciate the good things about other people without doing God any kind of disservice. In fact, because God created those good aspects of people, those in heaven may actually be able to worship God through their enjoyment of the good things that he created. In the same way, the saints can be popular and become popular, being good and pleasing to each other, and not only not take away from the glory of God, but add to it. Our distractibility from God and our ability to be confused about the source of good things are only traits we have on earth, those in heaven don't suffer from those ailments. So when the Bible says, And when ye pray, you shall not be as the hypocrites, that love to stand and pray in the synagogues and corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. Matthew 6, 5. This doesn't refer to heaven at all. It's a reference to how easily we're distracted in this present life. That makes it difficult at times to prioritize God over man, but there's no blanket condemnation against pleasing men. In and of itself, it's a good thing for people to be happy with you. It's just not worth giving up a relationship with God over. So it makes sense that the saints in heaven can be popular, and that that popularity is not harmful either to them or to their friends. Next, can people be wise in heaven? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.